I've decided that we're gonna catch this fat fucking rat. We got almonds and we got hot Cheetos because these seem to be the things that are doing the trick. All right, the beef jerky wasn't touched by anything. Sorry, I'm just trying to get the ants out of there. Apparently I'm also just rubbing peanut butter all along the side. When did that fucking happen? These traps are dedicated to the fat rat that was uh, dancing in this area a few nights ago. All right, now for the big one, we're gonna take this along with the game cam and we're going to put it where those massive fucking holes are at. So far we have clear evidence that these squirrels like two things, bananas and hot Cheetos. So I'm re-upping on the hot Cheetos. That should work, that should really work. And it's right in front of this fucking hole. So if there's, if this goes off any other way, I'm gonna be fucking mad. Ah, oh, why do I have a rash? I got a rash developing right here. I don't know what it is. Much like before, I kind of want to load it up. Just to make sure that we do this 100% right, I'm gonna put some right underneath it. This is how it's gonna go down. He's gonna come out of his hole. He's gonna see a mechanical monster and be like, oh, fuck that. So he'll go back in his hole, think about it for a couple hours, and then come back out and go inside the trap. And then he'll uh, look at the food very close and then go back in his hole, because he's a pussy. I hope this one works. We got the camera here. Every time something passes by it, it's gonna go off. And uh, hopefully that yields some, uh, at least some, some knowledge, if not results. All right, let's check out these traps. See if any of them got mega triggered. Couple almonds were taken off of this one. This one doesn't even look like the almonds are missing. And this one is getting swarmed by ants. All right, it looks like this thing hasn't been touched over a two day period. Maybe that can give us some fucking clues. Cause right now it's kind of pissing me off. This time we have 98 video clips. I'm sure most of them is just the wind blowing. Oh shit. What was that? Oh, it was a bird. Maybe it's a bird's hole. You little fucking bitch. There he is. Look at how panicked he got. What was coming at him? Oh. Well, there you go. These motherfuckers are smart. Look at him. He won't even fucking set foot in the cage. Alright, the squirrel. This is at 7 a.m. It seems like these cunts come out at 7 a.m. every time. I don't know how I'm gonna live trap them if they won't go in the trap. You're not... <laughs> you're not getting those, dude. Sorry. You see how much animal activity there is around this hole? This is the hole that I squirted the coyote urine into. It kind of just goes to show you how fucking worthless it is. You guys might be thinking that watch session was kind of useless, but I, I disagree. Every time we saw the squirrels, it was at around 7 or 8 a.m. We have a time frame from 7.30 to 8.30. If my only goal was to rid them of their existence, I I'd probably stand out there at 7.30 a.m. and just snipe them with a pellet gun, but that's far too easy. This is plan number one. At 7 o'clock, I go out there and I lay down in a ghillie suit in front of the hole, I think like five or six feet in front of the hole, and I have a big, massive net in my hand. Just a big old butterfly net, then I'll fucking swing the net and catch the little bastard. This is plan number two. I believe we're looking at two holes that are connected, and we have a squirrel family living down at the bottom. I can walk over, look down the hole, and be elated that they're down there, and then I could take a big cartoonish size barrel of uh, H2O, and I could pour it into the hole, I would also have a, like a, just a big grocery bag on this side that I would, uh, you know, I don't know, secure it with some duct tape into the dirt, something like that. Voila, a squirrel family that's caught in the bag. 
I can do this at fucking any time of the day. Uh, we need a plan that is between 7.30 and 8.30. This is plan number three. The classic cartoon net catch trap. The biggest challenge, I think, with this one isn't even setting up all this shit to work. I think the biggest challenge is waking up at, at 7.30 to do this, to be quite fucking honest. <laughs> plan number four. All right, guys, this plan is probably the simplest but least effective plan, and that is to just whip out the net gun. It requires me not spooking the squirrel and getting close enough to actually fire the net gun at it. You know, it, the squirrels aren't fucking clumsy. It's not like shooting the net gun at a Great Dane and it just fucking topples over because it's long and lanky and can't control its body. Like, this shit is just gonna slip, out, slip away. At this point in the video, I didn't have any time to put any of these four plans into action because they do require some setup time. But when I was surveying the land in my backyard, I did come across something very unusual. This is a dead hawk. I have no idea what killed it. Uh, there is coyote scat over there. Um, so it, it maybe it was a coyote. I've never heard of such a thing, a coyote killing a hawk. I mean, they're fucking winged creatures. Uh, but this is really... Uh, I don't like it because... The hawks like naturally clean up the area for like all the mice and squirrels and shit. And I don't think we have that many. I mean, look at these fucking talons. Like, this guy is meant to live here. We're gonna put the game cam in front of the hawk corpse because I wanna get some use out of it. I mean, no sense in uh, just giving it a, a burial. It'll disintegrate in a few days or it'll be eaten by something else. That's going to do it for this video. Join us next time when we find out what becomes of the Hawk Corpse and how we're going to implement any of the four plans that I talked about in this video to catch the remaining small boys.